Something dark stares in the wilderness, and the quiet hamlets of the Vale stand defenceless. A lone Vale God hurries to a nearby village who hopes to fortify. Each villager works with the troops eats one food per day. Along the road, just outside of town, a voice calls from the woods. Hold your fire, it's the Vale God. Several archers emerge from the woods, led by a ranger. They stop and address you as you approach. Welcome to the front lines, Vale Guard. We need houses for workers and weapons for soldiers. I'd say we have about two weeks before the main attack. And at the moment, I'm the only defense this place has, so I hope you're as good as they say. Continue. So, how this game works? Welcome to Vale Guard, by the way. I'm pretty sure it's immersion by the sound of it. You do a turn-based village builder and real-time combat. So you have heroes, you have soldiers, as you saw, to get more people, you have so much wood, so much food, so many people. So you have repair, you have clear, you can build farms, farms give you more food, each farm can work by three people. If you have a house, each house can have one person in it. it takes time to build with wood. If you put a well behind it, it doubles the amount of people you can have in each one. I can build this well here. This will give me... Build it there, it'll give me four things. So I build a well there, 60 wood, and a house there, 40 wood. That well will give an extra one person each of these. And this will give me two people because of the well. And like it said, each person requires one food per day. Food, may I sign up here, is dead simple. It takes, you're ready to plant it, it takes four days to get 40 food. So you have to make sure you have that much food to survive. So obviously I want to build as well, so we're going to put two people onto there, 40% build. And I'm not getting any lumber, and I'm not making any weaponry, which means I'm not going to have any soldiers. That evening you enter the inn and find a man sitting alone, mumbling to himself. Plant seems to be growing from his garment, and he wears a large mushroom cap on his head. He claims you can improve one of your wells for a fee. Do you trust this man? Do I decline? Um, yeah, see what you can do. My mistake seems I'm not needed here. I didn't have the well completed. So, now for the food. It's going to harvest in three days. It's going to have 40 food. I, if I take someone off, that food dies. So those two people are now permanently stuck there. And I have these guys currently building for me. So, let's carry on. So there's nothing else I could do, really. I can't make any weaponry. I can't make any armor. I can't make any spears or bows. I can't make any new troops. I have to survive for 14 days here. And then when you do, you move on to the next village. Bit um, faster than light, you go from village to village, building up and growing. You obviously get more troops as you go along. Each one gives you a little hero. A strange man comes to town, pulling a cart. He smells of filth and is covered in soot and grime. The townsfolk find his presence unsettling, and you're not sure you can trust him. He begs to let him stay in line, exchange what's in his cart. Let him stay. He stole. He stole my lens of metal. Little bugger. Also, random things happen like that. Trade carts, attacks. Obviously, I can build stuff. I can't build too much right now. You can build a guard tower for two axes and a peasant. Obviously right now though, I would like to get some more wood. There we go. Let's get some lumber coming in. I have three spare workers, so yes, you can see they've built some stuff. Let's get one guy making bows for me. I need four bows to make an archery team. We need four everything to make a team. So obviously that's going to go along. The graveyard I'm not building, which is this thing over here. It changes each... Map whatever you're doing. You come to town, square to your squire. A squirrely fellow in a cape, peddling some concoctions. Ah, the famed Veil Guard. Come place an order and I'll brew it up for you. Uh, give me a firebomb. So, my ranger is a hero. They can carry equipment, they level up. They're quite powerful. They also have special abilities, as you can see. Any troops you buy, just troops for that map. So, you want to keep your heroes alive and keep them going to the next one. Okay, we now have 30, so signing work, let's have another person there. Let's get the uh, graveyard up and running, see what it does. So making one bow a turn and 40 lumber, that means I could technically move a guy over to bow. So yeah, it's all about choosing where you want to go, because obviously you also need wood to build more housing and gear. I don't have the iron. Go away. I have yet to be attacked, I now have two bows. And we're going to get that done. Oh, see, we've got our 40 food and they're ready to plant again. So let's end the day. So the graveyard is... One of your builders tells you a well in town's need of repairs. Perhaps it should be dealt with, but the builder says it should be dealt with now. Reinforce the structure of six iron. There we go. Eek, iron. So now we have... Let's see. Let's go to there and you go to there. That way we have a spare bit of wood every turn. The graveyard is finished. A fog settles in as a crowd approaches the town. 
through your spyglass you see not a crowd, an army of bone and steel. The undead? Is there any a tower somewhere? Okay, move to there. So you lose if your hero and your main town hall dies. So I'm using my special ability. Obviously I'd like to try a firebomb. There we go. Lost a piece of wall. No I didn't. Oh, I gained an axe. Perfect. So I can repair stuff, obviously. What was this? Hold funeral services for a small fee. Hold service and receive 10 gold pieces. Yes, I'll do that. It's a gold mine. So we have enough for a trooper. So we're going to get a bowman down. Ooh. There we go. So now we have spare soldiers. Let's also put down a hoose. There's a moose loose about this hoose. So every building you do has to be next to a road. Except wells and, and walls. So remember that. So we have two bows, four lumber. Okay, I'll be another house, another person. Pay not gold. Uh, you don't need to help. Oh, I don't have anyone doing the building, yeah. So obviously I need to put these two down here to build that for me. There we go. Pay the Fergenheim on it, send him on his way. Attack delayed. Thank you. Look, there he goes, little sod. So yeah, everyone in the map is actually doing stuff for you. Like, that thug is just wandering around now, because I paid him to sod off. Okay, you go back to Bose. You go to there. Actually, let's not end this. Let's get another house down. And to there. There we go. So it's very strategic and tactical. Uh, he claims you can improve one of your wells, pay two. You won't be disappointed in the morning you see the results. It's feeling like, okay, what did he do? Oh, it's really improved it. Look at that. It's much bigger. So, yeah, sometimes the guys are really useful, sometimes they're not. Oh, I can redo the. Oh, it has to rearm the graveyard. So I put four people in and it rearms it for me. Okay, I get it now. Let's get more lumber down while I'm at it. Get another bowman team down. Your troops are not for hire. So you can hire out your troops and they go out and do missions. You're not even part of it. Either they come back with money and levelled up. Or they die. So it's your choice what you do there. So it's day 15. Once I get to the end, I get to win. So I'm not going to attack too much on this map, which is pretty good. Let's get another team down. Which means the final attacks will probably be quite powerful. I'm also low on gold. That's a problem. Let's power that up. Get one more bow. 40 lumber. That's fine. Okay. A mist grows from the old abandoned mill as frost forms on the windows. You fear the rumours are true and the place is host to the undead. Prepare for attack. Okay, get rid of it. Oh god, he's a powerful undead. And I don't have any abilities. I have just the fire arrows. Go! Burn them! Oh god, I forgot, I forgot to repair it. And my archers stay behind. If your troops heal slowly on their own if you start losing any, that's fine. Fire arrows! I need to get more stuff up. Oh, I'm losing. Okay, so I can build some more walls. I might be able to build a tower after check. Ooh, more bows. So I have 11 days out of 15, that's fine. That is two axes, and I have an axe. Let's grab the money. And get another archer up and running. 20 gold, never mind. Repair that. Uh, okay, just need two. Uh, more lumber when I'm at it. There we go. End of day. So, as you can see, it's getting a bit tougher. Let him stay, see what you get. Come on. Oh, an axe. I can actually build a tower now. 50 wood, yeah, I can build a tower. Needs road! Oh no! Uh oh. Okay, hopefully that works. So you have. That tower definitely needs stuff, so we're still building. Uh. There we go. You go to there to get 60 food a day. So we have three army, ten peasants, that's 30 a day. You force to talk to you with nine iron. Yay! 
Merchants have arrived. So you can sell stuff off to them. Like, obviously you need 10 of those things, so we'll sell off one of these bows for 12 gold, which allows us to build an archer. I'll do that, actually. So three, we have three bowman units. Bulwark. Neat. Neat. They appear to be stuck. Come on, come on, offer the... Okay, so my ar this arch unit appears to be broken. Okay. Annoying, but there you go. Let's carry on. Two more days. The trader will be gone. Let him stay till you get. Come on. Oh, peasant. He cleans up and gets a job. Mm -hmm. There's not really much we can do here. Okay, let's put some walls down. So each character you start there's several characters. Each character you start off with has different things, abilities they have. Obviously, you know, if you get a ranger, it's a ranger. You get a Templar, it's a Templar, as it were. You don't get too much change, but there is change. There we go. This is the final day. We can do this. The bones chill. This is really attack from somewhere else, isn't it? Yep, they attack from over there, of course they did. Oh god, it's loaded. This is the final attack. We have to survive this. Obviously my hero has to survive above all else. Doesn't care about the peasants, my hero has to survive and so does my command centre. My town hall. I can show you the next area. Come on. Oh, level up. So leveling up is simple. You choose something. Let's get more hit points. There we go. Are oh, we win? Oh no, we don't. There's still a guy over there left. But yeah, these guys are stuck. Annoyingly. Don't know why. Doesn't know, it hasn't happened before. It only happened on the recording. And we gained some extra stuff, so successfully defend the village, we can now move on. What else is there? Well, there's a plus one population. I know. High level troops are much more effective. Keep them alive. So obviously your troops level up, you just can't bring them with you to the next zone. Which is a bit of a problem, but there you go. So this is the map. So I've cleared clear water. We now have Grey Mead, which will give me a guard tower and a ranger. Enemies demons. Then we have West Lock, which is the enemy's demon, which gives me javelins and a ranger. And it's all which gives me a ballista and a paladin. I'm gonna take the paladin. Defend it. So you choose what heroes you get, you choose what equipment you get. So you, you basically customize your route as you go along. Increase population early while enemy attacks are lighter, yeah. You see a farmer loading wheat onto a cart with the help of a paladin. Thank heavens you are here, the warrior says. I was hoping I'd get a chance to meet you under better circumstances, but this will do. Like the last battle, this place is in no shape for battle scouts, but you have 20 days before the main assault. So now I have my ranger, and I have my little paladin. The map appears to be the same, I'll be honest. Because I remember fighting this map last time I tested it. Okay, so, the very beginning, get as many houses as you can out. Do I have it, say, there? Okay, let's get those three up. Okay, I can plant next turn. Food, of course, will be a little bit low, but we did it. Get them inside the gates, prepare for attack. Scouts will put a couple and their child fleeing towards your village. They are wounded and is likely you're going to in pursuit of them. Demand payment protection, and let them in. Before we can answer now, I piss the man's chest. Can instantly his wife and child fleeing hard? They, they are here already. Okay. Here they come. Demons have not fought demons before. Okay, shield of faith. Fire powers. They're burning the demons. So he's using his shield to absorb damage. That's good. Go, 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 go. Look at them little things trying to take out my cities. So the blue bar is obviously shield. And you can see on top of it, it goes down first. You can give them armor and so on to equip them, make them better. But yeah, motion cards arrive. Perhaps some training can be done. Well, I can't build anything now because obviously I don't have enough wood. We're just going to get two people over there. We're just going to all do wood. And what can you trade, man? 
Hmm. We have a blister, don't we? Yeah, we do. Let's get a Bowman team on top oh. of here. And end the day. Yeah, end the day. A strange man comes to town pulling a cart. Let's see what we get. Oh, he gave us some armour. So I can use that to arm up my troops. So I do that, it gives them the armour, that blue bar you see. Obviously we don't need it right now, so that's fine. If I do that, I can have actually have someone building every turn. Let's get another house. Actually, let's get a well down. If I do that, it'll get all of them. Yeah, it's perfect. It's a bit annoying that I can't do that, but whatever. Okay. More peasants, more people, more fun. The troops not for hire. Hire up a bowman. You see, there they go. Hopefully, they get me something nice. We'll see, we'll see. I don't really want to make any more equipment right now. First few days, I'd love to get some more houses and things down, so that's what we're going to do. End of day. Pay the thug and send him on his way. Yeah. If I killed him, I'd lose a peasant. I know that, because that's my usual route. Um, so, well, we can't buy any horses. Well, we could, but, yeah. Mm. No, it's fine. Okay, let's get some more houses down. Go on there. Go on there. There we go. More people. There's a trebuchet we can build on this map. Maybe the map has changed, because the last one had a trebuchet too. Quick, get them inside the gates. Oh my god, the man got killed again. Last time I got them as people, now they keep dying. Where are you going? Again up top. Move, 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 move. I'd love to know where the accent's from. Okay. Hold the bridge. Here we go. Come on, we have to go kill the guys over here too. There's two people in my base. Here we go. Didn't know what they're doing, but they were there. Ooh, nine shields. So yeah, the enemy can come through all of these little gaps. There's a tunnel over here they can come through. Over there too, when I'm worried about it. Mm. Okay, so let's get another person there for food. One person is making bows. We'll get six people making lumber. We'll get... We'll get... Two people on the trebuchet, we might get it in the end. Uh, yeah, nine people making lumber for now. Put more houses down, maybe get another farm. Pay eight gold for his random brew. Ooh. The morning you receive grave news, you'll have one bowman have, will not be returning. I think they died. Uh, you can have my experimental brew, new paladin. But yeah, this game is pretty interesting, I like it. Bullwind. Bullweak to you too. So you're gonna stay up there in case you get attached from there. You're gonna stay down there. Little people do what they want. Ah, uh, ballista. Six spears. How much do I need for spear? Spears are ten wood. Okay, get some spearman units out. Do that. Get another house down. Hmm. Get another, get another couple of houses down over here. We may need to get some more food coming in. We now have 18 a day. We're making 16, so yeah, 18 takes four days. We're losing resources. Oh, spears. Merchant cars arrived. So we need another farm now, which is 60. Buy that for three. Yeah, buy it for three. Then we're going to sell a bow, I guess. There we go. We can make some spearmen if need be. Let's build a farm. Two people will do that. Then we can put more people under there. Put those two onto the trebuchet. 
get out onto the wood. There we go. So yeah, I need more food. You wake to a noise as you grip your dagger and him stands on your bead, looking at you curiously. Not my bead! You slash instinctively and it bursts into ash. You hear shouts of town. The creature was not alone. Where are they coming from? Which way they go? I can see you over there. You're getting up top. You Down below. Give the bridge. Give the bridge. You mean you didn't... Cover the bridge! Take him! Turn them back to hell! Level up! You're gonna get more energy for your abilities at all. You mean the dead end? Me in it. Transparent. Use your mystery potion? I, I don't know what he's doing! I don't know what that is! Come on. Kill the dog! Kill the dog! Kill the dog! Let's take out a house! Let's take out a house! Oh, let's take out a house! Are you gonna get more armor capacity? What's the house? Okay, two more houses are down. That's fine. Trebuchet is almost up. Okay, get the houses up and running. The scouts report an infernal port has been opened in the swamps. Oh, good! We may have to start making spearmen. The game starts getting quite difficult. He's going to do one ability, he needs more armor, energy. Okay. Well, they can do it for three times now. There we go. Come on, keep firing. You can have one more ability. You only have one fire hour ability to do it. Your shield's going down. There we go. Kill the imp. There we go. Three axes. Nice. It's night of the dark night where a dark man waits for a dark purpose. A black market merchant has arrived. Yeah. And there he is. Okay, so have more houses. Let's get 80 food down. That's 20. Yeah, be 80 food. That's perfect. That's what we need. Uh, more spearmen. Do that. The trebuchet is now officially complete. Let's get a... Uh, a list to do? Get a guard tower down. Get a guard tower down over here. On the bridge. There we go. I don't need the black market merchant. Let him see what you get. Yes, more shields. Okay, you want to get your armor be up? There you go. So we have these guys over here. You got to go back down below in case you got to stay here on the edge. Um, let's get a spearman unit as well over here. You can just do whatever you like. Actually, congratulations, you get armor too. Look now, they have little spears. Okay, we now have extra people. So let's. Defend the area a little bit better. Like that. And that, there we go. That's interesting. Hey, Stug, refusing to come out of town. And leaves your lucky boys on in a fighting mood tonight. Huh. 19 eaten. Yeah, we should get our food back, but only just. We're going to run out and get more food. Yeah, spearmen over there. That's fine. So we're making 20. Yeah, making 19 a day loss. And we're making 80 every four days. So we will make it. Trebuchet is now done. We'll put an extra person onto that later. Oh, it's difficult. You spend the night training your villagers about these demons. They tend not to need armor. They're tough as nails on their own. Even when you do kill them, they some tend to explode. Huh. There goes the ballista! Move! Oh, direct hit! This way I have the ballista! Oh, he's not in range! Okay. Defend! Oh, no, no, go up top, go up top, let's move the troops up there. Okay, we have guardsmen moving up top. 
forward. Okay, there we go, they're fighting. There we go. The guard tower up top is holding. Level up. Can you get more abilities? I like the fact that you can set people on fire. This game is fun. Ooh. Three extra axes. Merchant cars arrived. So food will be a bit eh, tomorrow, but it's fine. Okay, got more spears. Can get one more unit without being an issue. Another spearman unit down here. Oh. There we go. That's 19. Did I lose? Oh yeah, I turned a peasant into that. Yes, okay. Don't need any building work. I could have you mining iron, I guess. Don't need the merchant. So food's down. Nothing but the sound of wind and cricket, if only it was every night. So yeah, this game is difficult, fun, and very entertaining. Look at him. He's bringing stuff back. So bring Forward you back to here. Bring you back. Forward bring you steel. back to here. So I do need another defense. I could get a ballista for 100 wood and a person. Let's get a ballista up on this hill. Need forward steel. I need a road, typical. Okay, do that. Assign the work. There we go. Let's take one person off there. Have 100 food. There we go. More food, more stuff, more gear. But, uh, refuse. Come on, fight me. So we have equipment, we have resources and supplies. Let's have another house. Come on, attack me. Thank you. Pay 24 iron for the commission. Ooh. Well, my guys is getting better armor. There you go, you have extra armor there, soldier. Tonight is a dark night. Oh, black merchant. So we have three ground defence troops over there, one ranger over there. If need be, I can put another spearman unit into action, which I might actually. Ooh. There you go. So what do you got? Harvest sickle. Grants one attack. Mm, too expensive, I'm sorry to say. So at the end of this, obviously we're going to end... Oh. A bit weird. So at the end of this, obviously we're going to end this game because I don't usually do more than half an hour and we're getting towards it. Obviously there'll be a few cuts. Troops not for high at the moment, I kind of need my troops. So we're just going to skip. Do the final battle. Oh, demons! Okay, let's get rid of it. Spearman hold the bridge! Okay, a couple down there too, that's fine. Hold him! Hold him! There we go, pull back the spearmen to behind the defences. There we go. Luckily I have a ballista and a trebuchet. Good. Oh, extra bows. So they're injured, obviously they need to get healed. They've all healed themselves up, but yeah, they're injured. I said all of them down there, my heroes up top. Got plenty of food, got plenty of people. Get him inside the gate. Finally, we gained two people who didn't die in battle. What is that? Got rolling infantry. We might lose spearmen, but that's fine, that's what they're there for. Level up, you're gonna get more health. As you can see, my troops down below are leveling up too. Kill them all, kill them all. Bloody imps. Spears. So we're gonna build with a blister. There we go. Done. There we go. Kill them. 
Time for listers. And you're gonna level up and have even more abilities to fire arrows at them. Fire fire arrows. So even holding nicely, I might have lost a team, I don't know. Oh, All those teams is very badly injured. After you attack, what is this? Wolf pendant. When on hit points, the wolf retreats and it says pendant regenerates. Ooh. You have that. That will heal you. That will give you armor. There we go. Final attack, I think. Let's put down. Can't. Let's, let's do it. We either win or we die. Look, we have two ballista. Should be an easy battle, actually. Oh, never mind. Here they come. Lots of them. Let's be having a die of honor. Go, go, go. Oh, there's literally a wolf following him. That's awesome. You're all dead, never mind. We win! So this has been Veilguard. I highly recommend this game. This is awesome. It is currently out now on the Steam, and apart from a few minor weird freezing issues, which might be because I'm recording, it is very well polished. There's a couple of minor English translation issues. I do think it might be Russian. But anyway, I've enjoyed this. Armor oh, greatly increases units longevity. So as you can see, we can now go to either of these two. So these two are now lost. So you physically choose how you're going to play the game and how you're going to be like, this will give me a ranger and traps. Enemies undead. This will give me spearmen and a paladin. Enemies demons. So you pick and you fight. Either way, if you do as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you comment, I will apply. If you like the Who's That Indie series, will carry on for longer. Who's That Indie being strategic, tactical, survival indie games straight to your face holes. And of course, if you do subscribe, you do become part of the Fallen. You do know new videos and series come out. And at the end of the last battle, I will see you in Valhalla. Ciao for now, people. Bye-bye.